Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you choose to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate it. So as you can see from the title of this video, this is another cleaning motivation video. And today we will be focusing on my kitchen and my living room. So we're gonna start off in my kitchen and right now I am just folding my hand towels. Now if you have watched my previous videos, you know that I do not use paper towels to clean in my kitchen. I only use hand towels. And so I have one basket under my sink that has the clean towels and another basket that has the dirty towels. And usually it takes me about one full week to get through all the towels. And by the end of the week, I'll throw them in the washing machine and be ready for Monday. Now I do have quite a bit of hand towels and my basket is not that large. So as you can see here on screen, I am rolling up my towels. I used to fold them normally, but that would never fit in the basket and I would always have the lid popping up and that really annoyed me. So I started rolling the towels and they fit perfectly and I'm able to fit about, I believe it's 15 towels in here, but I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. So this is what it looks like and that's just the bottom row and I'm usually able to fit I believe three full rows in here and then the last towel I always just leave folded flat on top. The towels that I was not able to fit into the basket, I just tossed onto the counter behind me because after I put this basket away, I'm going to start cleaning the counters. And I am still drinking my green tea. If you guys watched my early morning routine from about a week or so ago, it showed that I drink green tea every day or at least every other day and that's something I am still trying to do. After putting away the dishes, I'm going to go ahead and clean up a few of the dishes that do not go into the dishwasher. I'm going to go ahead and clean the sink and then take care of the countertops.
I'm going to go ahead and get my all-purpose cleaner to go ahead and clean the countertops. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you guys will know that this is my second purchase of a Method product. And this is the first time, or at least the second time, that I'll be using this spray. And it is the Method all-purpose cleaner in the lavender, um, the lavender scent. And I really like this scent. It complements very nicely to my diffuser scent as well. Something in the kitchen that I'm always trying to remember to really clean now are my salt and pepper shakers that you can see me wiping off right now as well as my olive oil bottle. These three things I keep right next to my stove at all times and so I always forget to clean them but I know I need to do it on a daily basis because oil splashes on them and a lot of times I touch them without realizing it after I'm preparing meats and vegetables and so I want to start getting into the habit of wiping those down every day. I also used the all-purpose cleaner on my stovetop. I wasn't sure if it was going to do a really good job getting through all the grease that was left on the stove from cooking dinner last night, but it did a really good job. So now I know that I can use this and not just using the other stovetop cleaner. The one that I used and I took a picture of in my Instagram post, the Wyman uh, glass stovetop cleaner, that one obviously did a really good job but I just did not like how long it took to clean because it did leave a really thick residue that I had to um, spend a few minutes of extra time wiping off whereas this method cleaner came off really quickly. I'll definitely use this cleaner on a daily basis and just save the Wyman glass top cleaner for maybe once a week Now that I am finished with the microwave and the stove, I'm going to go ahead and just tidy up, put some things back where they belong, clear off the back countertop before I move into my laundry room and the living room. I'm just going to go ahead and move my clothing from the washing machine into the dryer and then do an extra load. I did my husband's laundry the other day and I'll be going into the living room in a few minutes to go ahead and fold his clothes. Since it is just the three of us, me, my husband, and our little son Jacob, it only takes me two days at the most out of the week to do laundry. Um, I do my son and my laundry together and then, well, not in the same load of course because he does need his own special detergent but we do ours I do mine and his on the same day and then I do my husband's on a separate day
The last thing I need to do in the kitchen before moving into the living room is do some vacuuming and turn on my robot vacuum in the dog's room. I'm in the living room now, so I'm going to go ahead and do some tidying up and put things back where they belong before I sit down and fold my husband's laundry. And now it is time for me to do another chore that I dislike doing, which is folding clothes. And I did try to make it easier on myself with my husband's laundry because before I made this change, my husband had like 10 different sock brands and it would take me forever to try and sort through them. So what I did was I threw them all out because, well, one, they were all horrible. They needed to go. And two, I hated trying to sort through all of them. So I went ahead and I threw them out and I bought my husband only two brands. So that makes folding his clothes so much easier. I just have two brands that I need to sift through. So once I finish folding my husband's clothes, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the living room. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys got some good cleaning motivation and cleaned along with me today. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you guys will be notified every time I upload a new video. So far, I have been very good about uploading at least three videos a week. And if you guys are returning subscribers, thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. It truly means the world to me. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you again in a couple of days. Bye!